Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, Hello teacher. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much for joining. Okay. And well, guys, today we're going to have our session number 16. So uh, this is going to be the last uh, class from, I would say, um, Principiante Stress, right? So that's something cool. So uh, today we're going to check the exam. But not only the exam, but also the last part, right? The last part of the class, right? Uh, at least of section number five, right? That um, we are missing. So let me go ahead and share the screen with you. Give me one second. And tell me, guys, how was your day? How are you today? Como están, chicos? Fine, teacher. Okay, very good. Tired. Excellent. Well, actually, I'm a lot better than yesterday. Soy mucho mejor que ayer ya. La carga de trabajo bajó un poquito. Ah, by the way, I shared with you the material, okay? I shared with you the material over there in WhatsApp, right? For the uh, last classes, right? That we had a study, okay? Give me one second. Okay. okay, Aisa. So, guys, this is uh, February 18th, session 16, right? Um, well, as I was telling with you before, we're going to check today uh, the last part of section number five, and then we're going to move uh, and we're going to check very quickly the final exam, right? We're going to review each of the sections, right? And the idea to review each of the sections is probably not to to uh, go ahead and, um, you know, complete all the exercises, right? But the idea is to have a review or, um, yeah, a review or an overview of the things that we have studied. And if you still have any questions, you can go ahead and let me know, right? So we can um, check that uh, while we are, you know, uh, checking the final exam information. So, well, um, in the last part, as we were discussing yesterday, because actually yesterday we had a review. We had a review with um, the simple past of verbs in general, right? Uh, regular verbs and irregular verbs. And also we practice a little bit of the simple past of the verb, right? So those are two important things that we have to remember. I said yesterday that when it comes to simple past, um, it's like, we need help, right? Whenever we want to use regular or irregular verbs, right? We need some help with the negative and the question forms. And we said also that with verb B, right? With the verb B, it's different because verb B, it's completely independent, right? It's being independiente and it becomes, uh, I mean, you can use it in the affirmative, negative and question form, right? And that's what uh, pretty much we um, um, practiced yesterday, right? A simple past. Then in the last section of the um, section five, last uh, exercises from, ex from section five, right? There are easy conversation, right? And I would like to point out uh, some of the things that we have in the conversation because it's like, uh, like a wrap up, right? Of all the things that we have studied, okay? So I will read the conversation first and then I will ask for some volunteers, right? To help me reading, okay? So it says, um, we have a conversation between Melissa and Chuck, right? So Melissa says, so Chuck, where do you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, and what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, dice la muchacha viéndose el cabello, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is a conversation, guys. And I would like to ask uh, some volunteers to help me read, please. Let me go ahead and open the participants chart. Okay, I need two volunteers. Two volunteers to read the conversation. Okay. In the meantime, I will read it one more time. La leeré una vez más, okay? So you can... A review the uh, pronunciation of some words, okay? So Melissa says, um, So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. 
I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, and what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Hairstylist, I'm sorry. Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Right? Um, uh, vamos a pensarlo, dice el muchacho. Okay, very good. Okay, so look at that, you know, hairstyle. Okay, it's like kind of bunch of hair here and that's it okay so let me see uh i need two volunteers to read the conversation vamos a ver raise your hand oh han venido calladitos sorry uh -huh. okay thank you basilia and who else quien más and sarai very good okay thank you very much uh, so basilia you're going to help me with melissa and then sarai you will help me with chuck okay so chuck where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Um, when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what's what you major? Uh, drama. And was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? What the hairstylist? Hairstylist. Hairstylist. Because I needed the money and I loved it. Look, what do you do, see? Well, uh... Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you very much, girls. Okay, uh, two more volunteers. Alguien más que quiera participar in the conversation? <laughs> Boris, thank you very much. Okay, so help me reading Boris and who else? You must. Boris, you will help me with shock. Okay, and then who else? Okay. Okay, and then Ana Isabel Cruz, you will help me with Melissa, okay? So, go ahead. So, so where did you go? up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's it. interesting. So why did you become a higher, a higher stylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now, mm -hmm. thank you very much, Boris and Ana Isabel. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the information that we have in the conversation, okay? So, in the conversation, we have, again, a little bit of uh, the question, um, uh, WH question words, no, perdón, information questions including WH question word and WH phrase that we started uh, yesterday. And well, actually during the week, okay? And what is the first question that we have? First question. Where did you run up? Okay, very good. So the first question is where did you grow up, right? Where did you grow up? Okay, a donde creciste, right? When did, when, where did you grow up, okay? What about the second question? When did when you come did you to come? Los Angeles? Okay, when did you come to LA, right? When did you come to LA? Okay, then what about the next question? What was your mayor? Very good, what was your mayor? Okay, next. What do you think? No, I think we have one before. Antes de esa, hay una más. Yeah. So why did you 
become a stylist? Hair stylist, uh huh. Why did you become? Oops, become a hair stylist. Hair stylist. Stylist, okay. Now, guys, it, pay attention to the questions, okay? These are the uh, the question um, structure that we were reviewing uh, one of these days, okay? So we said that uh, generally when we want to ask w, I mean, um, information questions, we're going to need some help with uh, uh, WH words, right? Sometimes WH phrases. So it says, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up, okay? So this one, where, is requesting for a place, right? When, when did you come to a late? Okay, when did you come to a late? And then you, uh, you know that whenever we use it, we're using when, it's um, making reference of times, right? Then what, we use it for things, right? What was your major? And then why did you become a hairstylist? Why? Reason, ¿verdad? Es una, buscamos una razón, el por qué. Okay? Now, if you see, uh, what's the difference? Ahí, ¿Cuál es la pregunta que no es como las demás? La tercera. Exactly, right? So it's question number three. Question number three, okay? And actually, question number three, in question number three, we have the structure of the question word, but, I mean, question is a form of verb B. Aquí ya tenemos el verbo to be. And if you remember from yesterday, okay, ayer vimos, verdad, la, la diferencia, verdad, and you did great. De hecho, pues fue bastante bueno porque al final, pues, comprendimos ahí que ya las últimas cositas que nos faltaba entender. The simple past con verb, con otros verbos y con el verbo to be, okay? Entonces, if you see the structure is different because uh, we do not need any auxiliary, right? Because all, all the elements, right, will include um, the verb be, okay? So it says, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? When did you come to LA, right? Or when did you come to San Salvador in this case, right? When do you, when do you come to San Salvador, right? It, why did you become, and then you say here the profession, right? Why, why did you become um, an accountant? Why did you become a secretary, right? Why did you become a, a teacher, etc., right? So those are uh, questions that, the questions that were included in the conversation, guys, it's just to um, emphasize the structure, right, that we studied. Vocabulary words, alguna pregunta, perdón, alguna eh, palabra de vocabulario que no se haya entendido? Major, esta... teacher, teacher. Major, major es una carrera universitaria. Major. Major. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, if you ask me, eh, um, well, if you ask someone, I'm sorry, eh, what was your major? Es cual, eh, que, o sea, ¿Qué carrera estabas estudiando? ¿O qué, qué carrera mm -hmm. estudiaste? Es verdad. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There we go. In this case, it could be an, um, it could be uh, una licenciatura, una ingeniería, etc. Right? Those are majors, okay? Luego también hay otra palabra que ocupa bastante las las personas. Es esta. Eh, creo que es careers, career, verdad? Pero career es como esa experiencia que se va eh, alcanzando con los años, verdad? Con la experiencia de trabajo. Usted hace carrera en un lugar, verdad? Entonces Career es eso, pero ya major, ¿verdad? Major is, is different, okay? So if, if you take a look at the definition, right, of career, um, and I will, I will go ahead and do it here. Okay, esto es career, ¿verdad? It says an occupation undertaken for a significant period of a person's life in which in, and with opportunities for progress, okay? Es como formarse una carrera, ¿verdad? Con mm -hmm. su major, ¿verdad? O en este caso, pues, vamos a ver qué nos dice acerca de major, ¿verdad? Tenemos major y uh, major, let me see. Eh, aquí está, major, right? Specialized, specialization, I would say. Ahí en el chat se los estoy poniendo, ¿verdad? Specialized in uh, 
uh, a particular subject at college or university. ¿Verdad? Eso es prácticamente major. Déjenme si hay algo más. No, solamente. Ok. Uh, so, let me go ahead and clear all my drawings. And I'm going to close here. Ok. Major. Aparte de esa palabra, ¿alguna otra que necesite explicación? No hay pregunta, ah, chicos. Hi, es como decir estilista. Sí, sí, exacto. Del cabello, hairstylist. Ajá. Uno okay. como el que necesita la ticha. Ajá. Okay. Un hairstylist, ok. Excelente, very good. Así que eh, no más preguntas, chicos. Vamos a pasar eh, siempre a, a la parte pues, de, de, la, de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que incluía un poquito sobre el tema. Now, um, well, here you have like the short explanation, right, on um, the type of questions that we just saw over there in the conversation. It says WH questions with did, what, and where, okay? So it says, where did you grow up? Those are the questions that we uh, took from the conversation. I grew up in Los Angeles, I mean, in Texas, I'm sorry. I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 19, let me see. In 1990, okay. Why did you become a hairstylist? Oh, because I needed the money, okay. How old were you in 1990? I was 18, right? I was 18. Mm -hmm. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? Como estuvo la, la universidad, right? It was great, he says, right? Entonces, si ustedes se fijan cuando yo uso, pues, eh, open, I mean, um, information questions con el, el con ti, ¿verdad? Acá está la misma fórmula que ya habíamos estudiado, ¿verdad? Pero solo se las muestro como el instructor, pues, lo presentó durante la presentación del video, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos la WH word en este caso, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos did. Después de did tenemos un subject. After the subject, we got the verb. Tal vez no verb in present, pero sí un verb in base form, sin ser modificado, ¿ok? Y luego tenemos nuestro complement. Así que esos son prácticamente las, la, la, los elementos que necesitamos para las preguntas. Pero con el verbo to be dijimos es distinto, ¿verdad? If you see, it says how old were you, WH uh, phrase, ¿verdad? Uh, perdón, what was your major in college? How was college, ¿ok? Directamente hay un switch. Y ese switch que yo tengo es entre el verbo to be Y el, um, y el subject, ¿verdad?, de, de mi oración, ¿ok? Entonces, esas fueron las preguntas presentadas, ¿verdad?, durante la explicación, ¿verdad?, de, de, um, del video, ¿ok? Well, after that, guys, y luego, pues, vamos a recolectar esas preguntas y ya vamos a hacer, pues, un, un ejercicio, ¿verdad?, un speaking exercise. Luego, chicos, teníamos una sección. It says, complete the word map with words from the list, right? Then, list and check, okay? So, let me go ahead and open up here. Vamos a abrir una pizarrita. Ah, no, lo voy a hacer quizás desde acá, permítanme. Give me one second. And this one. I'm going to close the chat. I'm going to minimize this. Y voy a incluir acá. Voy, chicos, voy. Ok, ok. Voy a incluir acá este, las respuestas, pero necesito que lo hagamos acá ahorita, ¿verdad? Oops. Bye. Ok, let's go ahead and classify the first section, ok? In the first section we have classes okay we have classes so in that case from the vocabulary words okay that we have there uh, what are the words that we can classify as um, classes or subjects mm -hmm. veamos tenemos classroom tenemos college tenemos elementary tenemos gym tenemos high history junior high lunchroom tenemos math Basic education, tenemos playground, y tenemos science, okay? So all those words that we have here, we're going to classify them, right, eh, into three different categories, okay? We have eh, classes, schools, and places. Classes, schools, and places, okay? So classes, what will be um, the first word that you can see from here that we can classify into this section? 
History. Okay. History. History. Math. Math. Science. 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 Okay. Science. Physical education. Very good. Physical education. Okay. Excellent. Teacher, teacher, uh, pronunciation science. 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 Uh, science. Science. Mm -hmm. science. Science. Psycho, 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 psycho education? Physical. Physical. Uh, physical education. Physical education. It's like the letter F. Physical. Physical education. Okay. physical education. Very good. So let me see. We got history, math, science, and physical education. Yep. Yeah, I think those are the subjects that we have or class or classes that we have. Muy bien. What about what about schools? What about schools? College. Okay. Vamos a copiar acá. College. Okay. College, do you think? Sí, vale. College. Okay. Yes. ¿Cuál otro? Junior high. Junior high, muy bien. Lunch room. Hi. Lunch room. Lunch room? Is that a school? No. No, no, no. no it's place. It's place. Ah, okay, muy bien. And from schools, what do you think? College, junior high? Elementary. Elementary, como la básica de nosotros, ¿verdad? Elementary. Elementary, ajá. Uh -huh. um, eh... Tenemos college elementary. Only, only. Which one? Hi. Hi. Okay. Sí, verdad. Alto hi. dice hi. Uh -huh. eh, let me see. Tenemos college, junior high, elementary, and high, verdad. Okay, high school, mm -hmm. es cierto. High school de bachillerato. Uh -huh. Hi. Mm -hmm. Eh, sí, creo que ahí tenemos college, junior high, elementary, and high. Entonces, ¿qué nos quedaría? Quiero ver. Gym. Elementary. Gym. Voy, voy, solo voy a ordenar acá. Teacher, okay. y, de, ¿y el playgroup qué es? Playground es el área de juegos de los niños, del uh -huh. maternal. Uh -huh. Plays. Um. Playground, playground. Playground. Yes. Give me one second. Luego creo, después de elementary creo que va junior high. Después de junior high creo que va high. Junior y high. después va college. Uh -huh. Maybe. Okay, so what about what about the places? Okay. We have already here the Ying. first place. Ying. 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 Very good. Lunch room. Lunch room. Lunch room. Muy bien. Playground. Muy bien. Playground. Muy bien. Okay. So we have classes, we have schools, we have places. Okay. So very good. Classes we have a, from the list history, math, science, physical education. What other subjects do you remember from school, guys? What other subjects do you remember from school? ¿Qué otros se recuerdan? Bookstore. I'm sorry. Bookstore. Bookstore. Bookstore is una tienda de libros. Okay. ¿Cuál, cuál me quería mencionar usted? Biblioteca. Ah, the library. Muy bien. We're going to put that here. We're going to include. I'm sorry. Here in the places library. Muy bien. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent. Vamos a ver. In class English. English, very good. Solo que en inglés esa materia se llama language arts. Language, language arts. arts. Uh -huh. Language arts. Esa es la materia de, del idioma de ellos. Es como lenguaje y literatura de nosotros, ¿verdad? Ok, language arts. Mm -hmm. O en este caso, pues nosotros acá en el país, si es como un seg una segunda lengua, pues sería English, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué otra, ¿Qué otra materia? ¿Qué otra clase? ¿O place que you remember? ¿Mm? Díganme. Chemistry. Spanish también lo, lo reciben en, en Estados Unidos. Yes, clase es español. Un, yes, sometimes they include Spanish classes right in their programs. It depends. 
hay algunas que son como optativas, ¿verdad? You can Hola, pick... Hispanas. Exactly, you can pick Spanish. You can pick, you can pick uh, Spanish or sometimes they have available French, right? Eh, porque el idioma de ellos, pues ya, ya va incluido. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly, very good. Eh, so, let me see, Spanish. Algebra. Algebra, okay, let me see. I don't remember the spelling, no me acuerdo del de letra. Teacher, la química no se dice chemistry. 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 Chemistry, very good. And this one is algebra. Algebra. Let me see, vamos a incluir algebra here. Like, oops, algebra. Muy bien. We got chemistry, right? Chemistry, muy bien. Okay, anything else that you remember? Music. Okay, sometimes we receive music class, right? It's, it's cierto, I remember that. Okay. Seminar. Hmm? Seminar. Seminario. Seminar. Seminar. Okay. Very good. What about what about places? Places in school. What other places do you remember? La dirección. <laughs> <laughs> the principal's office. Principal's office. Principal's office. Okay, muy bien. La oficina del director, the principal's office. Okay. Cafeteria. Cafeteria, right? Cafeteria. Okay, so yeah, sometimes there is like, um, there are gardens Garden. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, the restrooms, the restrooms. Okay, etc. Right? So those are some vocabulary words, right? Uh, related to the conversation that we had before, okay? So actually, uh, uh, the, the idea for this is to talk a little bit about those situations in the past, okay? Now I will ask you a question, okay? And the question is the following. Let me see. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to do this. And it's going to be, what was your favorite subject at school? Salón de usos múltiples. Yeah, okay, salón de usos múltiples. But the question that I have for you is this one. Esta quizás es la pregunta que me gustaría hacerles en este momento y vamos a ver qué me responde. Let me see, I'm going to uh, make it a little bit bigger, okay? So guys, what was your favorite subject at school? What was your favorite subject at school? Okay, so please go to the chat, vayanse al chat, let me go ahead and take a look at the, at the answers, okay? What was your favorite subject at school? Let me see, I'm going to open it. Veamos, what was, what was, your favorite subject at school. Okay, what was your favorite subject at school, guys? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Mine, let me think. My favorite subject was chemistry, says Adriana. Okay, very good, excellent. Exactamente la estructura que acaba de ocupar Adriana es la que necesito que ocupen ustedes. My favorite subject was, okay? Uh, my favorite subject, my favorite subject was probably, I don't know, it's kind of difficult. I don't know, it was difficult, guys, but probably I would say so social studies, social studies and um, probably literature, literature. Those two subjects, probably, okay? Estudios sociales y literatura, lenguaje y literatura, probably those are two subjects that I really liked. And then I moved to the university and we started, you know, studying English, but actually when I was in school, I really liked um, uh, social studies and literature. My favorite subject was science. Pero yo me equivoqué, la teacher se equivocó, porque yo estoy mencionando dos materias, okay? Entonces, it's where? Correction. La teacher se equivocó. Okay. <laughs> where, ¿verdad? 
my favorite subjects were okay my favorite subjects were social studies and literature social studies and literature this is diana my favorite subject was math my favorite subject was language uh this was the languages okay uh, Anne Isabel dice, my favorite subject was science. Uh, Aileen Michelle says, my favorite subject was lenguaje y literatura, right? Uh, science, okay, que popular era science, okay. I mean, I remember science, but no era como muy así como into it, yeah. Dayana says, my favorite subject was science lab, okay. Very interesting, right? Hands on, verdad, las la prácticas de laboratorio. Okay, muy bien, okay. Very good. Alguien más que me haga falta? This Adina, my favorite subject was science too. Okay. Oh, Sarai says my favorite subject was the computer class. Compu uh, yeah, computer class. Computer class? No, no sé. Veamos. Oops, perdón, aquí saqué la plataforma. Let me see. Let me confirm if it is well say computer class. So, yes. Okay, yes, computer class is here, okay. Computer applications, computer class, okay. My favorite subject was languages. This I loved reading this Yana del Carmen. Yes, actually, uh, I loved it too. Creo que esa fue mi parte favorita, leer un montón de, de libros, okay? <laughs> Excellent, very good. So thank you guys for sharing that with me, right? So pretty much that's what I wanted to point out, right? Uh, the use of the vocabulary words, right? And also the use of simple past with that, okay? Then guys, after this section, okay, after this uh, vocabulary section or um, the words that we were going to uh, classify from the exercise, there's a reading, okay? The reading is about a singer, okay? Probably most of you know him already, right? And it's about Ricky Martin, right? And first I will read it. And then we're going to uh, ask some questions, okay? So it says, uh, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on December 24th, 1971. Miren, cumpleaños el 24, okay? He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work, on, he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After the success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. The album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, right, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter from the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever, okay? So guys, ¿cómo, vamos a ¿cómo haríamos la pregunta? Vamos a vernos aquí al chat, vamos a irnos al chat. ¿Cómo digo cuándo nació Ricky Martin? ¿Cómo vamos a preguntar eso en inglés? ¿Cómo lo voy a preguntar? Voy a abrir una pizarrita. Veamos, texto. Ajá, muy bien, buen. Buen, Ajá. Buen, buen, buen. Bueno, lo vamos a poner así eh, con sus inicial. Ricky Martin. Ajá. Born. 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 Buen, buen. Buen, Ricky Martin born. Buen, buen. 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 Buen, buen
Very good. Nineteen forty-one. Sixteen seventy-one. Nineteen. Nineteen. Perdón. Nineteen seventy-one. Nineteen seventy-one. Okay. Exactly. So when was Ricky Madre born? He was born on December 24, 1971. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. ¿Cómo voy a preguntar dónde nació? Perdón, perdón, perdón. Sí, dónde. Uh -huh. Where was uh -huh. Ricky Madre born? Where was Ricky Money? ¿Y cuál es la respuesta? He was in Wars. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Exactly. In San Juan. Good job, right? He was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, right? Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. What about this one? What about this one? Um, ¿Cuántos años tenía cuando se unió la banda Menudo? ¿Cómo pregunto eso en inglés? ¿Cuántos años tenía usted cuando hizo esto? How many? Muy bien. How old? How many? How old? Ricky Martin. How old? How old? Ricky Martin. How old was? Ah, ok. Muy bien. How old was? Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Uh -huh. When he joined Menudo, muy bien. ¿Cuántos años tenía cuando se unió? Right. How long was Ricky Manuel when he joined Menudo? Okay. Very good. Eh, vamos a ver la siguiente. Uh, bueno, in the answer is he was. 12, right? He was 12. Muy bien. Eh, let me see. Ya no hay más fecha, perdón. Ok. ¿Cómo digo a dónde se mudó o a dónde se movió? Párrafo número 3, ¿verdad? Dice, Martin moved to New York City. Right. So, ¿cómo pregunto eso? ¿A dónde se mudó? Where was Where did... Ricky Martin moved? Ok, Where... en este caso, ¿cuál es el verbo principal? Where did Where... It... Move. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Move. 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 Ok, move. 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 Ya, no es, ya no es el verbo to be. Entonces, en ese caso, where? Move. It. Where move? The... Move. It. Ah, muy where bien. did where did move where did he move okay a dónde se movió he moved to New York City uh -huh. okay vamos a ver la siguiente eh, let me see quiero ver si podemos usar otro verbo Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo le cómo le llamamos a lo cómo podemos decir eh, no pero eso siempre sería con verbo to be, okay? Bueno, pero lo que quiero resaltar ahorita es si ustedes se fijan cuando nosotros estamos haciendo las preguntas tendemos a utilizar también el verbo to be, pero no va a ser así, chicos. Solamente lo voy a utilizar cuando el verbo to be sea el verbo principal. Pero en este caso, si el verbo principal no es el verbo to be, quiere decir que automáticamente, ¿verdad? Yo voy a utilizar la otra estructura, que es el pasado, pero con todos los demás verbos, no con, no con el verbo to be, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, esa era, eh, ese era el reading, ¿verdad? Que tenían ahí en, en la sección número 5. ¿Hay alguna pregunta con respecto al reading, el vocabulario o, o algo que, que eh, no se comprendió bien del reading? Vocabulary words that you don't know? No. No? Okay. Very good. Now, after this, ¿verdad? Después de esta parte, oops, sorry. Very wrong. After this, oops. Okay. After this, eh, los movía de un solo automáticamente al final exam. Okay. Now, to do that, or to check this, okay, we are going to move to the platform, okay? 
Let me see. Vamos a movernos aquí a la plataforma. And I'm going to start sharing right now. Okay. Vaya, quiero que levante la manita. Who has finished the uh, final exam already? Vamos a ver cuántas manitas puedo ver. ¿Quién ya terminó el examen? Vamos a ver. Ana Isabel, Basilia, Diana Jamilet, Erika, Edgar, Diana, me, teacher. Diana. Who said me? ¿Quién dijo yo? Dina. Ah, ok. Dina, ok. Saraí, Aile Michelle, Boris, Ray e. Flor, eh, tengo a Araceli, ok. Very good. Bien poquitos, pues son los que no han levantado la mano, pero yo espero que ya muy pronto, pues puedan eh, finalizar la, lo que les haga falta de la plataforma. Remember that the last day to finish any pending exercise is tomorrow. Pero igual no hay que esperar a que sea, ¿verdad? Más, uh, más tarde para realizarla para que no le afecte, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver. I'm going to share the screen right now. Voy a parar acá. And I'm going to start sharing. Ah, perdón, Deborah, no vi que allí nos había escrito su pregunta. Yo, dice Anita del Carmen, me too, dice Cecilia. Ok, thank you very much, girls. And I'm going to start sharing this. Ok, bueno. Creo que ahora ven la plataforma, ¿verdad, chicos? Yes. Perdón okay. que vea hacia acá, pero es que tengo en la plataforma en el segundo monitor. Yes. Vale. Eh, veamos. So, eh, after section 5, ¿verdad? Le damos clic acá. Esto es lo de school days, lo que estaba pidiendo hace un momento, ¿verdad? Vimos lo de school days. Y pues eh, también vimos eh, un poquito de reading, ¿verdad? Que tenía acá la, la lección, ¿verdad? You, if you want to read, <coughs> sorry, to read and to listen to the original audio, right? You click on the video and you will be able to listen to it. Then it says uh, here that we have a knowledge check, right? Based on the converse uh, on the reading that we just made, right? Uh, question number one, it says, when was uh, Ricky Martin born? Okay, based on the reading, guys, basada en, el, en lo que leímos, so what would be the option? On December 24. Okay, on December 24. We have four different options, right? Muy bien. So, cuando me dice when, it's asking for time. So, on December 24, 1971. What about number two? When was Ricky Martin born? Okay. In this case, it is asking for what? It is asking it's for a, one, a one place. Puerto, San Juan, Puerto, San Juan Puerto, Puerto Rico. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay. And then it says, how old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo? He was, he was, he was 12 years, years old. He was 12 years old. Okay, and when did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because, because he was, was frustrated. Frustrated. frustrated, right? Frustrated. frustrated. Muy bien, perdón, yo lo leí mal, es why, but that why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? And yes, exactly, guys, because he was because frustrated. He was frustrated. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, but he so, didn't give up, right? No se dio por vencido. Y miren, pues logró muchas cosas después de eso, right? Now, thank you guys. And then you click on submit and you see that all the options probably, oh, well, yes, all of them are correct. Very Excellent. good. Excellent. Excellent. Great job, okay? And then guys, after this section, okay, you were going to move to the um, next one. Oops. Uh, and then it will move you automatically to the first section from the, uh, from the exam, which is the listening section, right? And it says here, uh, listen to Helen and Mark convers uh, Mark's conversation and select the best answer to the questions, right? So there you have an audio, right? And here we have some questions, okay? Let's go ahead and see if I can share the sound with you guys. Si como ya lo hicieron, pues, of course. You already know the answers, but let's go ahead and listen. Give me one second. No me deja darle click. Pero ustedes sí, ajá, pero ustedes... El cuadro le tiene que dar en el cuadrito, ajá. Ahí, ahí. Ah, es que es un link, es cierto, es un uh, enlace de Google, ¿verdad? Es cierto. Give me one moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. I always forget that the listenings are, uh, uh, son uh, enlaces de, de Drive, ¿ok? So, let me see. Pero se, pero se puede reproducir solo así nomás, dicho. Sí, se puede, pero porque, no me deja bien. Por, ajá. Ajá, no me dejó a saber por qué. Porque yo así nomás lo reproducí, 
me funcionó. Yo creo que es porque como estoy usando Zoom, ¿verdad? Y eso consume bastante recursos. Entonces creo que por eso es que no me deja hacerlo desde acá. Pero igual lo vamos a escuchar, veamos. Bueno, escuchemos. Sí, Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on Second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up Second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and answer the question. It says question number one, where are Helen and Mark going? Okay, so what is the correct option? And a station and a department, department store. store. Very good. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque va a ir primero. Uh, uh, why? Because sin gasolina. Exactly. Right? Compraron regalo al papá también. Exactly. So he needs gasoline, right? And then he needs to move to the department store so he can buy a present, right? And yeah. where is Smith's department store? On the corner okay. of the corner Sears of and Main. And Main. Excellent. Very good. And how do you get there? Walk up right. second to main. Turn right. Turn right. Very good. And what is Mark going to buy? A sweater. Uh, sweater. Okay. But what did he say first? ¿Qué dijo primero? A tie. A tie. And then what happens? Helen, she uh, gave him another option, right? And the option is? A sweater. A sweater. A nice sweater, he says, right? So let's go ahead and check if our answers are correct. And yes, actually they are. Well, no. Aquí nos dice que no. Why? ¿Por qué? A bank. Es a bank. A ah, perdón, perdón. A bank. Yes, la a bank. La primera era teacher. No, es la primera teacher. Sí, perdón, perdón, que la teacher está. Ahora vamos a poner un zoom. Vamos a poner una... Una mala nota la teacher. Okay. Where are Helen and Mark going? Uh -huh. To the bank and then uh, the department store, right? Very good. Thank you, guys. Okay. Que los estaba probando. No, mentira. Se equivocó la teacher. Okay. So after the listening section, okay, uh, there also we have to complete sentences, right? Uh, y eso me imagino pues que ya ustedes ya lo, ya lo completaron, ¿verdad? Uh, then we have some... Um, um, Prepositions, right? Prepositions. So across from, guys. Whenever we use, we're using across from, right? It's uh, estamos hablando de frente uno frente al otro. Eso es across from, verdad? Okay. Luego tenemos eh, on, verdad? Siempre on when you're uh, making reference of this on of the street. I'm sorry. También between, que es entre, verdad? Next to, a la par. Y on the corner of, en la esquina, ¿verdad? Entonces acá, if you see, you have an image, right? Aquí está la, el lugar que estaba mencionando en la conversación. Right, we got the Center Street, we have Second Avenue, First Avenue, and the Main um, Street, ¿ok? 
Entonces luego dice, the department store is blah, 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 and then it says the bank, okay? So let's go ahead and make it bigger, okay, like this. Siguen viendo la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pueden ver. Bye. Okay. Okay, so here we have, okay, here we have, we have here the movie theater, okay? We have a supermarket, we have the drugstore, we have like a Second Avenue bookstore, we have the U.S. Uh, Postal Office here, we got a hospital here on the corner, we have the gas station, uh, we got here a, a, it's like a shoe store, right, and then I got here Maria's restaurant, we got the Citibank, right, Citibank over here. Here we have a parking lot, okay, y la pregunta es, the department store is what? This is the department store and this is the bank. So what would be the correct uh, preposition to use? Next, Next to, to the bank. Muy bien. Next, next to the bank, right? The department bank. store is next to the bank. It says, Alex Coffee Shop is blah, 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 the movie theater. So let's see. What is the movie theater? Movie theater, movie theater. Acá. Risa, I mean, re, Regency Movie Theater, okay? And they are asking for a Al's Coffee Shop. Across from, across from, across from, across from, okay, está acá, because it's here, right? Across from, well, let's try, vamos a intentarlo, okay? Across from, okay? Porque luego tenemos on the corner of, ¿verdad? Pero la verdad es que si yo uso on the corner of, tengo que mencionar la calle donde está esa esquina. Y no está mencionando una calle, sino que menciona un lugar. Así que vamos a probar con across from. Luego tenemos eh, Marie's Restaurant East, blah, 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 Main Street and Second Avenue. Main Street and Second Avenue. Está acá Main Street and Second Avenue. And this is Marie's Maria. Restaurant. Corner. Maria. The corner of. On the corner of. Muy bien. Ok. Entonces, cuando yo uso on the corner of, si se fijan, la, 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 la intersección. Exacto. Muy bien. Las calles. Ok. Vamos a ver. Yay. Yay. Ok. Ya se despertó la ticha. No, mentira. <laughs> la ticha se despertó desde bien temprano. No se preocupen. Ok. Excellent. So, let me see. Excellent. Exactly. Vamos a ver. Then, after this, bueno, pero no hay preguntas con las preposiciones, chicos. Quedó, esa información estaba clara. No hay preguntas. Al respecto. Mm. No. No. Okay. no. Bye. Vamos a ver. Eh, luego tenemos, sí, it says select the best answer, right? It says select the best answer, okay? And uh, here you have some questions, ¿verdad? Como las que estuvimos estudiando, que son los, eh, permítame que veo, que me dice acá que dos personas han levantado la mano. Voy, acá. Eh, dígame, Araceli. No, no, teacher. No, ah, pues eh, dígame, Argelia. No, nada, teacher. Ese fue ah. cuando estábamos en lo del examen. Ah, perdón, perdón. Es que de repente ahorita acaba de aparecer, ahorita, ¿verdad? La, la, sí, la... pero no, 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 nada. Ah, ok, perdón. Ok, it says, where were your parents born in the U.S., ok? Now, como yo la pregunta la estoy haciendo con eh, verbi, right? Mi forma entonces de contestar va a incluir the verbi, ¿verdad? Entonces, si la pregunta es, were your parents born in the U.S. from the list? What would be the most appropriate answer? No, they weren't. No, they, they, no, they weren't. weren't. My, parents weren't. Were My born. parents were born in Japan. Okay, very good. Excellent. So, I am giving an answer with where, and actually that's included in my question here, okay? Number two, okay, it says, uh, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? What would be the best option? I grew up, I grew up, up in Tokyo. Tokyo. Very good, okay? Now, if you see, acá, chicos, como yo estaba utilizando mi auxiliar, so no cambio mi verbo, pero al dar mi respuesta como una oración afirmativa, ahí sí lo cambio, because it's an affirmative thing, right? And then, who was your first English teacher? 
My first English My teacher, first was, English teacher was, Mr. Was, Mr. was Mr. Sato, right, okay. Number four, when did you come to New York? I came, I came to New York in, in 1998. Muy bien, chicos. Very good. You remember, right? Remember, whenever you want to say the date, cuando decimos la fecha, partimos del número en dos, o la cifra en dos, y decimos dos y dos, ¿verdad? 1998. Uh, how was your first day in the U.S., verdad? It was, it was, a, was a little, little scary. scary. It okay, was a little scary, yeah. right? It's a new country, it's a new place, new people, right? You don't know that much, so that's a little scary. Okay, very good. And let's go ahead and check. Correct, this says excellent, right? Como nos dice ahí su compañerita, okay? Vamos a revisar así nada más como un overview because we do not have, you know, that much time. But uh, the second section, it says match the verbs to the nouns, okay? Match the verbs uh, with the correct words or phrases, dice, okay? So it says had, had photos, had a picnic, had tennis, had a play, or had swimming. What would be the best option? A, a picnic. A picnic. Have a picnic. Do you remember this exercise? So fueron los que hicimos la vez anterior, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Luego played, played, uh, played what? Played tennis. Played Ten. tennis. Okay, muy bien. Took. Photos. Took a photos. Photos. Okay. Went. Swimming. Play. Swimming. Swim. A swim. swimming. Okay, and then so? A play. A play. A okay. play. Remember that uh, the, the phrases go swimming, go, y como es en pasado es went. She went swimming, for example. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Let's go ahead and submit it. And all of them are correct. Okay. Vamos a ver. Then in section E, it says complete the conversations, right? So all what you have to do is to complete the conversation with the best option, right? So if you see here, tenemos dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Tenemos tres opciones. Si yo voy a preguntar con did, acá de las tres opciones que tengo, ¿cuál es la mejor opción? Did you have? Did you have? First did you or have, second? Have. Second. No. Second. Second. Second, second option, exactly. Second option. Why? Porque yo ya no modifico mi verbo y es cumpla, está completamente incorrecto si yo lo digo de la primera forma. Uh -huh. eh, do you have? Porque es como que estoy diciendo lo mismo dos veces, ¿verdad? Así que we have to pay attention to that part, okay? And then let's see here. Uh, after that, it says read the article and complete the sentences, okay? There's an article here and it's about, it says Home Alone, right? Like the movie, como la película, mi pobre angelito, la Home Alone. And it says Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and he went downstairs to the basement to do the laundry. When he went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some cloths from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone, said his father. We came home right away. We're just happy he's all right, okay? And then after reading, guys, all what you have to do is to answer three questions. And the first one is, why did Jerry go to the basement? Number two, where did Jerry sleep? And number three, why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning, okay? Hay preguntas del vocabulario? Basement. Basement, es el sótano. Ah, okay. Nosotros no tenemos basements. Uh -huh. Lo único que hacemos es poner una como, uh, una como bodeguita, pero no está bajo, bajo la casa, sino que la, puede, puede estar en cualquier lado de la casa. Aquí, ¿Ok? ¿Ok? ¿Otra, ¿Alguna otra pregunta de vocabulario? Upstairs. Upstairs, la parte de arriba de la casa. Downstairs, la primera planta. Upstairs, la planta de arriba. Uh -huh. Any other question? Mm -mm. No, okay. No, teacher. 
Muy bien. Pues, yeah. chicos, prácticamente ahí es donde termina pues, el examen. Si ustedes ven, es bastante cortito, ¿verdad? Y it's kind of uh, very simple, I would say, right? So, uh, if you have uh, still questions, ¿verdad? Eh, igual las voy a hacer el día de, hasta el día de mañana tienen, ¿verdad? Recuerden, para terminar el examen, ¿ok? Así que, chicos, pues, la verdad es que ha sido un placer atenderles. Yo sé que solo fueron dos semanas, ¿verdad? Eh, pero pues espero que hayamos todo, ¿verdad? Todos hemos aprendido yo con ustedes y espero ustedes un poquito también conmigo. Así que este, cualquier cosa, pues eh, ahí estamos a la orden, ¿verdad? Y have a nice evening. Un placer el conocerlos a todos ustedes y pues nos vemos tal vez más adelante aquí en Quito, ¿verdad? Así que un Gracias, gusto. teacher. Primero Igual. Día, nos veamos más adelante, teacher. Así es. Gracias Anita. por todo. Gracias ya saben, chicos. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Buenas noches. Bye. 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 Bye.